hey guys this is karthik and the contest just ended how did it go for you did you lose some rating or gain some rating what was your rank uh, not that i care but still <laughs> let me know in the comments maybe it will be fun to discuss it for this video i'll be sharing a hint to the problem c i did not participate i haven't been participating for a long time now but i intend to start participating very soon anyway so i'll be sharing a hint and not the code because i didn't participate so the problem was pretty nice according to me the problem said although i expect that you guys would have already read the problem but for those who haven't i'll be explaining the problem statement again the problem says that you are given with a grid that is of size n cross m that's good now this grid is a binary grid so the grid has only zeros or ones something like this right our goal is to convert this grid into a grid that contains only zeros and is of the size n cross m only so you need to convert your initial grid into a grid with only zeros instead of zeros and ones okay the operation that you can perform to convert is that in one operation you can select a sub grid or a window of size 2 cross 2 inside this grid so for example i can select this window here and then inside this 2 cross 2 window there are four elements i can select any three and i can flip those three elements so if there is a zero it will become a one and a one will become a zero so one operation is select any window of size 2 cross 2 inside that window select any three elements and flip them this is one operation you are given with this grid of size n cross m and you can perform at most n into m operations to convert your entire grid into the goal grid that is a grid with all zeros for the hard version you can perform at most n into m operations for the easy version you can perform 3 into n into m operations since i'm not aware of any solution for the 3 into n into m i'll be discussing a solution for the n into m thing which should work for both now let's see how we can actually come up with a solution we'll be moving to sublime because mm, it's cool i guess yep and here we are yeah so anyway yep also just to check whether i'm able to record it or not yeah it's recording properly actually i recorded once and the pen wasn't visible that was really sad for sad for me it takes effort <laughs> okay now we can start so the first thing that came to my mind when i thought of this problem was that i am allowed n into m operations that's okay and there are exactly n into m cells also right so maybe if i am able to come up with some algorithm uh, so that i am doing one cell per operation that means i am converting one cell every operation i am making it a zero and hopefully never uh, using that cell ever again in my life right <clears throat> so the idea i came up with was in one operation i could think of the top right cell and convert it into a zero if it's already a zero i don't even need to do anything but if it is a one i can choose the top right cell here and i can convert it uh, convert it to a zero that's good in so in at most one operations this top right cell becomes zero for sure because if it wasn't a zero i'll select this grid here i will hold any of these three and flip this guy so if it was a one i'll make one flip otherwise i'll simply uh, basically if it's a zero i don't need to do anything if it's a one select this window here and flip this guy so one operation and i'm able to set this guy to a zero and i'm happy about that now i can use one more operation to set this guy also to zero because if it's already a zero good otherwise select this window here and flip this guy here so this becomes a zero and at most one operation and i can continue doing this till here after that a teeny tiny problem arises yep so i can convert these two all to zeros now what about this what window do i select so if it's a zero here i am happy if it's a one here then i can select this window i can hold this guy here so that this one does not change but the rest will flip 
so if this one flips it becomes a zero and if you see effectively we have turned this entire column to zeros and the problem basically from a grid of n cross m size has reduced into a smaller grid if i get if i basically discard this last column here i now have a smaller grid of size n into m minus 1 and my problem has reduced and if you see i could continuously do this thing to get, keep going to smaller grids so for this grid here i can turn this last column to zeros again and get rid of another column another column another column I can continue doing this till I reach the grid of size n into 2. At that point something changes. I cannot simply just remove another column because then I will be left with a grid of size n into 1. And in a grid of size n into 1 I cannot perform any operation. So I need to stop doing this stripping thing at n into 2 for sure. Because otherwise I can no longer perform any operations. At n into 2, let's see what we can do so that we are able to solve the problem. But now we only need to think of a solution for n into 2. So according to me, the algorithm that I was I came up with, two things happen at the sizes of grid n into 2. The two things are n is either odd or n is even. In either case, the problem is very easy to solve. Let's see what happens when n is even. The only thing that you need to do is you need to come up with this weight of solving a grid of size 2 into 2 which is very easy you can simply look up uh, at pen and using pen and paper how to solve a 2 cross 2 grid but overall what you will be doing is when n is even you will be selecting 2 cross 2 size grids and keep solving them in at most 4 operations and this can be easily proved that you can solve a 2 cross 2 grid in at most 4 operations I'll show you an example of how you can solve for this grid but uh, solving a 2 cross 2 grid is pretty easy and if you know how to solve a 2 cross 2 grid you can solve a n cross 2 grid by considering these uh, smaller 2 into 2 cross grids that's all you need to do keep considering 2 cross 2 grids and keep solving for them so that's good uh, how about this is odd then a slight problem might be visible but it's very easily solvable. So if I can like turn both of these to zero in at most two operations, I'm happy. So think about it. If these two are already zero, nothing needs to be done. I'm already happy. But uh, if these two are all one before, right? Then if these two are already one, what do I do? I, I want to make them zeros, right? And uh, think that you'll be solving for this, this, this part later on. Initially, you are solving for the last row of this n cross 2 grid. So, if these two are ones, <clears throat> you can hold any of the guys here and flip this 2 cross 2 grid here. So, in one operation, these two people will turn into zero. And now, you are left with the remaining portion above this last row. And you can simply solve it because n for this portion, n will be even. You have basically essentially removed one row here. If this was a zero one, then you can hold this guy and flip the remaining three this becomes a zero in one operation so as you can see in at most one operation you can like get rid of the last row even if even when n is odd and you can solve when the for n into two for the problem when n is even all you need to know is the solution to a two cross two grid let me show you the solution to this two cross two grid so that you can see how this thing works so the claim is that this can be solved in at most four operations. Let's see how. In one operation, let me hold this and flip the rest. This is one operation. In another, another operation, what can I do? Maybe let me hold this and flip the rest. So this becomes zero, zero. Uh, this was held, yep. So I was holding this, the rest got flipped. Two operations. Let me do one more operation. If I hold this guy here, then one, 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 Oh, sorry, 1, 1, 0, and 1. No, not one, this one. So I'll hold this 0 here. And I'll flip the rest. This guy flipped 1. These two flip 0. Finally, uh, okay, this is probably not what I was trying to do. Uh, let me go back. Let me backtrack. Instead of holding a 0, let me hold a 1. If I hold this 1 here, these two flip they will become a one this guy becomes a zero 
and now in the next operation i can hold this zero and flip the remaining to reach zero 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 and you can see then in, that in at most four operations i was able to solve this particular grid of size two cross two you can see that any grid of two cross two is very easily solvable and you can solve them you can even write a backtracking brute force solution whatever works for you i would suggest just do it on pen and paper because it's pretty easy and if if you have a solution for two cross two grids you have a solution for n cross two grids and if you have a solution for n cross two grids you have a solution for n cross m grids hopefully you like the video guys make sure that you like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video tada bye bye